Hi dear friend and uh, I hope that you are actually doing very well so and I also hope that you have actually applied and also understood uh, what I have actually done in the last episode so and uh, by the way so uh, I highly actually uh, want you to again uh, if you haven't actually got uh, uh, the video pack or the premium video pack that I have made on my shop then uh, I have decided to take one dollar off of uh, the price so now it is uh, even cheaper than how it was so you can get it and uh, learn from it so again the link will be in the description so make sure you get that and level up your skills so uh, today we are going to actually just continue what we have uh, made together in the last uh, episode so if you are interested and if you are excited so I'm sure you are so make sure you join our learn no code family so you can do that by just subscribing to this channel and also if you want to be the first one uh, to be notified if I post something new on this channel about app development and how you can build apps with Flutterflow then I highly recommend you turn on the bell icon so you will not miss any of my upcoming videos so with that out of the way let's get into it so the thing that we are going to be doing in this step is to first get rid of this uh, problems here so we have a lot of uh, uh, things that we need to be fixing there so and uh, all those mistakes are coming from this uh, note so this one uh, it is uh, I guess this statuses so this is where we have made uh, the mistake in a way so uh, so first let's actually go first to this tab uh, right down here and let's go to this let's view this is when I or where I have made the mistake so uh, as I told you here we have changed the type of backhand now we no longer uh, actually requesting the the stages we now uh, we are actually getting uh, the users so we want to see the users uh, uh, with actually with a field that is called so the status mode which sh which should be true for all of those that can be listed here so all these details were actually uh, or has been explained or have been actually sorry explained uh, in the last video you can check it out if you like and again there is the link to this playlist so you can check it out again check out the description for more details so now uh, let's first start off with it so changing some things here so here so for this unknown it does have to stay unknown so since we are actually taking the users now we can actually tell or get the name put it there right so here uh, in this image so we have got rid of one error there so that is a good sign now we can go uh, se select the image now the path is unknown uh, so since we are taking uh, or doing a backend call for the users then let's just get uh, their uh, photo URL, put it there, and you are good to go. You can also use a default variable in case uh, the user didn't use any image. Uh, so if you want that, you can use, you can put something there as a default uh, value to that image to just avoid some. Now we have only six uh, six uh, problems. Now uh, let's actually work with this uh, uh, circle. Let's first open this. And so what we need to be doing here is to go to this one, the circle. This is the green circle. So the green circle means that the user has or uh, the status mode of the user, of this user or uh, of this particular user is on or true. So we, so we can know that that user actually uh, has some sort of uh, statuses. But this circle uh, will have a lot of things. So uh in a way so we can keep it uh, uh, until we finish uh, setting up the other things so uh, for instance we can actually delete it it is somehow complicated to do and it requires us to understand a lot of things and anyway everything will be uh, measured in this video or in the next one so here we have only five of them we have five mistakes or so here so we want to pass so here the status we want to send the id of that uh specific status so now since we have made all these big changes uh so we we need to lo do a lot of things so here this is the page where you can see the status right so i will be actually uh removing all the things from here 
I will, I will be start, start by deleting that and all those things has to be so uh, sorry for that so it will be uh, deleted this one as well so all those things has to be uh, deleted and uh, so here again the backend as well has to be deleted so uh, and also the path since it is coming from a variable it has to be uh, deleted right so now we don't need any any of that so uh, here if we come uh, to this to this page we can take a look at uh, so for the actions it is not for uh, it is the the parent container so now we can actually uh, so here we want to remove this we want to start somehow uh, from scratch we don't need anything and uh, we can also uh, come here delete that and really so it is going to be deleted uh, entirely so let's get rid of this so this is just a custom function and this is the indexes they really does it really doesn't matter so now uh, after all of these things so again i have just deleted uh some things here uh and you know so all of those changes has to be made so you can make it sorry if i was too quick but just click on each error either the leech or do as i did and don't worry about the last two errors they don't actually matter so now since we have just got rid of some errors let's uh, let's actually now move on to the next step and start working so now what we actually can do is that uh, so here what we are actually doing uh, so we actually we have made a backend call right so these are a list of users so whenever and uh, actually those users has a status mode that is actually equal to true so they are they truly have uh some stages so here whenever you click on that you need to go and uh, come here you will see there the user stages right you will be using the, the status of the user so we can uh, rename it and call it for example something like user status so we can come to this page and now we can actually see all the stages right and this is actually the thing that you will have to pay attention to so uh, when it comes to just uh, so here so when we click on when we click on this uh, specific container which is this one it will be navigating us to uh, the user uh, statuses right so we can come there and now uh, if we are here at this one in this space so now we will be actually uh, pulling out all the statuses of the users that we have just clicked on so uh, we don't know uh, the stitches of the user so he may have uh, tons of uh, stitches so we, we can we, there is no so we need something to specify or to know the stitches of that particular user so now if we come here and take a look at so we can go to the statuses and here we have a field called owner which is from the users so for each stitches we have an owner field that specify who made that status so we can use this data to check all the statuses with the same owner right so to do this we will be using again it is very simple we will be using uh, a page parameter so it is very simple it's going to be uh, the owner or just the user right user id which is very good so what is the user id it's a document reference from the users so we can confirm so now we can use this data we first need to pass it from the other page and since it is and after it is actually uh, passed we need to use that to pull out all the statuses of that particular user so i hope you guys actually you have actually got the idea and uh, so the thing is that uh, we can just uh, we first need to uh, come back here and when you when you go to uh for example uh, yes it is this page and go to that navigation that we have just made and uh, with that navigation we can we can pass the data we can give it give the user id to the other page so we can use it so it is from this backend call and come down here it is this one confirm so everything is good everything is working as we want so uh but now what we need to be doing here is that we want to come back to this uh, to the user user page here first we need to come to this page title so before we do a, any of that so uh, there is going to be a problem here uh, because we are going to be doing multiple backends for if, for example on this we need to do a backend call of uh, the user to just get his name so if we want his name we need to the backend call to take his name 
or you can use just another parameter just for this one to pass it directly and you will the name of the user will be seen there directly so uh, this is another option and i believe it is the easiest one so add another parameter which is going to be called the user name uh, i'm doing this just to avoid uh, actually uh, multiple backend calls to not overwhelm you and uh, so you can keep on uh, with me so again let's pass this param this new parameter and uh, the, the username is uh, it's going to be from a variable and uh, here display name and you are good to go so now we have done that we can come back here to the user page come here and page title is going to be from the username and everything is good so now we don't need uh, to do a backend call uh, for just the name so we have got rid of that now the real work is here so this is the real work so uh, this uh, so let's wrap them in a column or let's group them in a column like this and here the first column needs to be actually so what i will be calling this column is uh, uh, one status right S yes one status uh, so now I can so this is for one stitches but for let's say the user has uh, let's say millions or tens of uh, statuses in one day so uh, what happens so what will happen we will not be seeing something like this of course so we need something else so uh, we need something like uh, a list carousel or something like that but we can use a page view so this is the first time I use page view in this channel so here I will be actually calling it not page view but I will be actually calling it uh, multiple statuses or statuses you can so because we cannot see statuses so this is just multiple statuses we can confirm right so this is one status so since it is one uh, status so uh, uh, please guys it's going to be a little bit complex to actually uh, uh, do so uh, first I want to come here and uh, so here for the one stages so what we are going to be doing right there is to do a backend call of one document so the thing is uh, that we need to do is first so here uh, so we we will be so, so we are going to need a certain data so this data is going to be the number of stages of that user so we need to know the count so if it was one we will be showing only this one if it was more than one then we are going to be actually uh, so, so we are going to be uh, somehow showing this page view which is multiple statuses so uh, that is it's going to be very simple so the, there are multiple ways of uh, doing that so the the first one i will be showing you here is to add a backend call and this time we will be querying uh, so the first one is going to be from reference what we are going to be uh, doing here is that we are going to be uh, so we will be checking the data from the user so uh, as you remember as, uh, the, as you can see here the user so uh, here for each user we had uh, like uh, so we don't have that right so may maybe here this is the status count yes the, the number of statuses so we can just get that right so before we do that and again you can use another parameter just uh, for that if you like another parameter for this page uh, which i highly recommend you do and uh, so if you want it so you can do that but for me i will be using another an, an alternative so we can have fun uh, doing a lot of things me, me and you so uh, i will be doing here so i will be taking the data of the user that we are in his page which is so we have all all those stuffs so since we have made a backend call now actually for the one stages we will be using a conditional visibility so this will be visible only if the count or the status count of the user equals to one right so we will be saying a single condition i will say that if uh, the user has uh, the status count was equal to one so one stitches then show this up this uh, so let's first come here and copy this variable to apply it to the other one here so uh, but it's going to be the opposite right in a way the opposite so here's going to be greater than one right 
so now let's actually move on to the next step so uh maybe so we are going to be doing the same but uh, for you i want you to actually get some breaks so i or i have already i managed to i like to actually do multiple parts in a video so even there are small it helps me actually get you the best so if you like this make sure you put in the comment section tell me that you like it if you don't then let me know that you don't like that so anyway let's move on to the next step so for this step so here we have managed to do the, the condition visibilities now we are going to go to one stitches here we want to be doing we want to actually do a backhand call so we want to query a collection Just don't worry you see they will say that uh, here you have uh, only one stitches but since this has condition visibility so if it is going to be a query for example a collection of 10 documents it will not be shown there anyway so it doesn't actually matter right just do a collection it, it works that way if it doesn't work we will change over time so here uh, let's actually check uh, the statuses here so list of document or documents so we want to filter them out by the owner the owner should be the user right should equal to this user here so we confirm that we so uh, we confirm so we are going to be having a lot of things uh, so uh, yes I have forgotten to do something which is just not a list of documents it's just single document so we don't have that error so here this should be the path of this one should be the one from so you see we have a backend call statuses you can it is the image and this is the somehow the message or the text of the specific uh, stages right you can so this is working uh, uh, very nice so for the other one here we, we will be doing something uh, different right so what we are going to be doing here is we are going to be querying a collection this time it's not for anything else it is uh, it is just the stitches again but this time it's going to be a list of documents and use the same filter right the owner should be the user right equal to the user yes so uh, that is it and now you can actually hide one to keep the other one or you can do the, uh, whatever you want whatever you want so here we have a page view people can scroll in this uh, direction but for each one here so first you can delete those so the children are going to be generated dynamically so here you want to add something other than just an image so you may want to be adding like a text so in a row uh, in a column sorry so uh, you can put the column or put children of the column in the center so here you can see this so the image can be as big as, as it was as it is so we can let's try this option so it can be as uh, or it can actually specify the, the size so this can be a lot uh, bigger than that so uh, uh, semi bold so here so it is uh, very easy so the, do the same for the, the information so for this one it should be uh, so for the statuses you want to be using uh, the not the owner image but the image and here so we can use the text right so we can use text just like so and uh, here you are you have we have made the status stuff so now we have fixed all the errors and you can play around with this but just keep on to not to get uh, uh, confused so for these errors if you actually wonder why they are still there for the first one just recompile this uh, whatever there is so it just function so you can recompile it and this one is it for indexes so you can deploy the indexes and that's so this is because uh, so here so sorry i was hiding that so just just click on deploy and it should be deployed just like this one it was here so anyway so uh, for this episode i have i hope actually that you have got the idea of how how we can use statuses so uh, as you have seen i have fixed all the errors now we can see other people's statuses no matter how they are so maybe in the next episode we'll be taking a look at our own statuses we will be seeing what we can do with our own statuses and uh, so to be honest i hope that you actually enjoy every single episode of this playlist if you do don't forget to actually share it with your friends and uh, i just wanted to, to give a simple shout out to my coffee members 
uh, which are uh, Abdullah, Lionel Brinkers, and Pablos Metro. So thank you guys so much for uh, supporting this humble channel and supporting my coffee page. You are guys the best. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you are uh, uh, curious, so this is my uh, coffee page. So uh, if you like my content and this the effort that I put in helping you learn no code in no time and how you can develop your apps with Flutterflow and for free so if you like this if you appreciate that so but uh, on my side i really appreciate you support my work here on my coffee page so to, to just explain to you how it works you can either give me a one-time donation if you like you can choose whatever you can afford and don't forget i i really want to see your message don't forget to leave me uh, as a message there make it privacy easy if you like or you can go to the other side where you can actually join the learn no code family so the no code family so you can be a part of a family and we are going to be so happy to have you as a part of this uh, small family so we share a lot of content and you will be ac have access to a lot of features that no one can actually have access to and uh, to uh, just name a few so here you can get 50 percent discount on all of my coffee shop items so in the future we'll be adding more coffee uh, shop items so will be so you want to save yourself tons of t tons of uh, money by joining this you will get 50 percent off so uh, and also you'll be getting exclusive content just for you my family here you can actually if you have a problem with something for flow if you want a personalized tutorial so I will be making that for you on YouTube and you will be mentioning your name there so you will be known uh, in the community so this is a good for you and uh, for all the projects I make on my channel either on tutorials or on this place for example or any other playlist you will be cloning them for free if you have joined this community you'll be cloning that and you will be saving yourself tons of time and you will also get youtube shout out just like how i did to just be known to people so people can know who you are and the efforts that you have made for supporting my work so again if you like my content i highly appreciate you support my work on coffee i have already shown you that so with that said thank you so much my beloved friend and i will catch you on the next one